today we will study leaf leaf venation and types of roots so leaf today we will study about leaf this is a leaf we know that leaf is a very important part of a plant leaves are flat green structure present on the stem and branches so i have taken here a leaf of a china rose plant and you can see here its parts first is this petiole this is the petiole okay and this is the stalk through which the leaf is joined to the plant then we have the green portion this is the green portion of the leaf this is lamina the green portion you can see here all these are the green portion of the leaf that is called as lamina and they are responsible for photosynthesis then the midrib the central thick structure right in the middle you can see this thick structure in the middle of the leaf this is called as midrib it supports the leaf and prevent uh, the leaf from breaking then we have veins the many lines you can see from the midrib many lines they are arising they are running through the surface of the leaf we call them as veins many lines they arise from the midrib on either side of the midrib these lines are called as veins and design made by these veins is called as leaf venation and what this veins do they transport water and minerals okay this is all about parts of a leaf now leaf venation the arrangement of veins on a leaf is called venation so we have two types of venation leaf venation that is reticulate venation and parallel venation so, so i have taken here china rose leaf and you will see here the reticulate venation so reticulate venation is when the veins they form a net like shape on either side of the midrib you can see this is the midrib and on the either side they are forming a network like shape all these veins they are forming the network like shape and so we call it this type of design of veins or arrangement of veins this types of arrangement of veins is called as reticulate venation they are found in china rose plant I have taken china rose plant leaf this is a rose leaf also you will see the reticulate venation on either side of the midrib the net like shape is formed by the veins so reticulate venation is there then parallel venation when the veins run parallel to each other from the petiole to the tip of the leaf the arrangement is called as parallel venation like here i have taken a lily uh, the leaf of a lily plant and you can see here the veins they are running parallel to each other from petiole to the tip to the tip they are running parallel to each other you can see so this is called as parallel venation all the veins are running parallel to each other the veins are running parallel you can see here and this is a parallel venation so this parallel venation is found in uh, banana wheat coconut okay grass this is a leaf of a palm tree and it also shows parallel venation you can see here the veins are running parallel to each other so it's a parallel venation roots they are very important component of the plant system as without the presence of root the plant ceases to exist so they are responsible for absorbing minerals and waters from the soil and transferring them to stem roots they firmly anchor the plant in the ground so types of roots we have two types of roots tap root and fibrous root you can see here this is the tap root and this is fibrous root we are we are showing you here the tap root of a curry leaf plant so first type of uh, root is tap root in this type of root system you will see there is one prominent long root which is called as main root you can see here that it is the, this is the one uh, uh, long main root and it is called as the main root one prominent long and thick main root and from this a bunch of small roots arises which we call as lateral roots you can see here that here these lateral roots are arising these are the lateral roots which are arising from these main root so it this is a 
tap root and it is hard to pull out plants with tap roots because these plants with tap roots they go deep into the soil so you cannot pull them out easily and also uh, this root system it occurs in plants with leaves which shows reticulate venation so that means those plants which have reticulate venation in the leaves they will have this tap root system so examples of the plants with tap root system they include your carrots turnip china rose now fibrous root you can see here i have taken a uh, this uh, root of a grass plant this shows fibrous root system here it's a fibrous root and a group of you can see here that from the base the group of several small roots are emerging but there is no main root no main root is seen over here so this is your fibrous root and these plants they are the plants with fibrous root they are easy to pull because these roots they don't go deep into the soil and this root system it occurs in plants with leaves which shows parallel venation that means those plants which have parallel venation in the leaves they have this fibrous root system the examples include like uh, here grass li uh, lily plant banana wheat maize onion bamboo all these plants they show the fibrous root system thank you